Hello my dear students. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you are hale and hearty by the grace of Almighty Allah. Here I am Farhan Islam inviting you all to our today's online class. I hope you are enjoying our online classes. Dear students, please look at this. Our traditional hand fans. This is a Nokshi Katha. These are very famous craft words. Can you guess our today's lesson? Crafts in our time. Unit 5, Lesson 3. Before going to start the passage, you have to read the passage quickly to have an idea. This is called skimming. Let's see what are the main ideas presented in this passage. Main ideas presented in this lesson are definition like what is craft work, descriptions, its classifications, how is it made, its disappearance and its market value. Then some examples of arts and crafts. Let's start the class with a warm-up activity. What is art and what is craft? Art is the making or study of paintings, drawings, etc. or the object created. Craft is an activity in which we make something using a lot of skills, especially with our hands. So, artwork has no practical use but represents only beauty. On the other hand, craftwork has beauty as well as practical use. These are examples of art. It's a famous sketching of Jainul Abidin. And this is our Aparajeo Bangla. Now I am reading this passage. A craft art is an applied form of art, a social and cultural product reflecting the inclusive nature of folk imagination. Here, applied means practical. Inclusive nature means here nature is included. Folk imagination means an imagination of rural people. So, a craft work is a practical form of art, a social and cultural product which reflects the inclusive nature of the imagination of rural people. A craft work which usually doesn't bear the Signature of its maker retains a personal touch. When we look at a 30 year old Nokshi Katha, we wonder at its motives and designs that point to the artistic ingenuity and the presence of the maker in it. So, when we look at Nokshi Katha, what do we see? We see the artistic ingenuity and the presence of the maker in it. Here, the makers are busy for preparing Nokshi Katha. The fact that we don't know her name or any other details about her doesn't take anything away from our appreciation of the artist. Indeed, the intimate nature of the katha and the tactile feeling it generates animate the work and make it very inviting. Tactile, what does it mean? It means something in touch. Here, inviting means interesting or appealing. The Nokshi Katha is a very remarkable craft work. 
it reflects the rural people's lifestyle and their culture. These are our handmade mats. Our craftwork is shaped by the interaction of individual creativity and community statics, utility functions and human values. This is a very important line. You can underline it. Do you know the meaning of aesthetics? It means sense of beauty. So, here community statics means the sense of beauty of a community for craftwork. Actually, craftwork is formed by the interaction of four things. Number one, individual creativity. Number two, community statics, number three, utility functions, and number four, human values. It is distinguished by its maker's desire to locate himself or herself in the wider and ever-changing cultural aspirations of the community and subsequently of the market. Here, subsequently means after work. So, after work of the market. Now, let's see the word meanings. Retain. To have something on possession. Motif. Main feature of a work of art. Ingenuity. Creativity. Intimate. Familiar or informal. Animate to make something lively. But even when the market is an important factor, community statics remains the factor determining the form and content of the craft work. This is our famous Shatranji, the exquisite terracotta dolls from Dinajpur dated back to early 1940s that form a part of the Bangladesh National Museum's collection were mostly bought from village fairs by some patron. Here, exquisite means very beautiful. Patron means who helps people financially or who supports people. Sometimes it means customer. They were no doubt meant to be consumer item, but the dolls reflect community statics in such a manner that the market has not been able to impose its own preferences on them. Dear students, if you visit our National Museum, you can see the beautiful terracotta dolls like this. Let's see these word meanings. Interaction, internal communication, aesthetics, love of feeling for beauty, aspiration, strong desire of something, subsequently, the research step of something. Equisite, very beautiful and delicate, terracotta, made of burnt soil. Impose to establish or apply by authority. This is our handmade loan. A craftwork, thus a dynamic object, always evolving and always abreast of changing tastes and preferences. In this line, dynamic means progress and evolving also means progressing. So, what is it? It is a dynamic object. It is changing with our taste and choices. It also represents a way of life and a cultural flavor. What does it represent? It represents a way of life and a cultural flavor. Therefore, 
changes in lifestyle and material conditions are expected to have their impact on craft work and their production. But certain forms, shapes, styles and aesthetics preferences change little over time, suggesting that a craft work can function as a stable signifier of community values and desires over time. Mechanical and mass production take away this feeling of assurance and stability and the sense of continuity that the handmade craft work evokes. Here, mechanical and mass production means machine-made things. This is our handmade mat. And these are plastic mat. And very cheap in our market. In the clash between expectations of pure handmade craftworks and the market need of mechanically produced craftworks, two contesting views emerge. So, the two views are handmade craftworks and mechanically produced craftworks. On the one hand, traditionalist content that the society needs to preserve the authenticity and naturalness of craftworks and their association with domesticity and environment. Earthen pores, pitchers, vessels, cooking pores, dishes, etc. are made by porters. And on the other hand, promoters of machine production argue that the machine has helped restore the appeal of the crafts due to their cheaper production cost. These are very cheap plastic products. This product is very famous. In Bangla, we call it Kula. This is handmade Kula, but we are using plastic Kula because of low cost and longevity. So, there are two types of craft works. Number one, handmade craft work. Number two, machine made craft work. There are no easy solutions to the problems that crafters face in our time. Crafts that are disappearing can and should be revived. Here, revived means restored. Even where the machine has made the prospect difficult and crafts that are still practiced can be safeguarded and made to consolidate their position further. This can be done by providing grants, loans, assistance and other support to the producers and helping them find a comfortable customer base. But more importantly, craftwork can be branded and successfully marketed throughout the country and beyond as there are always buyers and users of handmade products who feel a strong attraction towards such cultural products. So, we can stop craft work from disappearing by providing grants, loans, assistance, etc. Let's see these word meanings. Consolidate to make or become solid or strong, disappearing, being out of sight, evolve to increase on promote something promoter one who promotes revive 
come to the life again. Raise from death. Safeguard things to ensure safety. We can successfully brand our craft works within and outside of the country as there are buyers and users of handmade products. We should prevent our craft works for our own sake. We should not let it disappear, rather help it revive. This lesson is very important for multiple choice question answer, short question, fill in the gaps with clues, fill in the gaps without clues, flowchart. Sometimes paragraph writing may come from this passage. Dear students, if you face any problem, you may ask your subject teacher. You know, your subject teachers are always ready to help you. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.